Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. Um, I got this Synology set up, and one of the things I forgot to mention, and I think is worth mentioning, is that um, Houdini is a little bit picky about what it tends to um, do when it opens up files and where they're being opened up from. So if you have like a regular hard drive attached to your computer, and you could find it in your Windows um, File Explorer, it won't have a problem with that, but if you're on a network server, such as my new Synology that I hooked up, um, it wants to know a little bit more about it. There's a few things you gotta do first. Um, let me just show you what happens here. If I go to open and I go right into my Z drive, which is my Synology network, and uh, I go into Houdini projects, and I go into one of these folders that I've been working on, in here and I was working on these scene files these versions before I installed the Synology and once I got the Synology I put everything in here I basically just grabbed like the main folder which it contained everything and put in the Synology and if I try to open it up directly from here this is what we get load failed and no such file directory and I made sure that it wasn't the Synology the problem because I just simply opened up other softwares like Nuke and I was able to open up those scene files in Nuke um, directly from the Synology. So I knew right away it wasn't the corruption of the files or anything else. So what you want to do is you just close that, um, open up your Houdini.env file. For those of you who have Windows and just did like a regular install, it's going to be in your documents folder under the version of Houdini that you you installed. So uh, for example, I got 18.5 and you should be able to find it in there. For some reason there's a Maya logo on there, but just ignore that. Anyway, um, so this is what you gotta do. You gotta put in Houdini access method number two. Um, if you don't set this up in your Houdini environment file, it's not gonna do it. And it's gonna make you think that your files are corrupt. Once you do that in your environment file, you save it. Now Houdini is going to be a little bit less pickier on what it opens up. So I'm going to fire up Houdini again and show you guys. Um, if I were to open up the same file in that folder, it's still not going to work. So what I did was I took those files in those folders and I created a new folder with the same name uh, in the Synology. And it's almost like as if Houdini now trusts it, like it wanted to be there for the creation of the folder. And the previous ones that were there before um, Houdini started talking to the Synology, it doesn't like. So that's one of the workarounds. You just have to create new folders and you can pretty much organize them exactly the same way. It's a little bit tedious, but in a way it's a good thing because at least it keeps you on your game in terms of being really organized. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open up directly from the network, the studio server. I'll go into Houdini projects and there's one thing I've been working on here and it's this one and this is directly in the NAS and so it's gonna open up and it works fine now anyway just wanted to give you guys a quick tip uh, that's one of the things to do after you install your Synology so if you like this video hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time peace